old Christmas. It's a very, very cold Christmas as I, as I record this video. Now, this video is probably going to come out sometime after Christmas, but I want to make sure that this video comes out before um, the new year, right? And it's not going to be your typical technical video as far as like I'm talking about, like, you know, the Ryzen Results CRM, or I'm talking about the VA programs that were just launched, or how we can be able to help your business, right? And let's talk about, let's reflect on the year. Okay, let's reflect on the on the journey, right? Um, a few things as far as me on my side of things, as far as my performance for the year. I'll be very genuinely honest with you guys, right? Nobody is ever as brutal or as strict on themselves as I am on myself, right? I I have a very strict um, set of guidelines and, and um, expectations, not even expectations, quarters that I have to meet personally. I hold myself to a very, very high standard. And I had to, I got thinking, right, as far as mostly for the demo calls and all the sales calls that we did today to, to did this year to sell the CRM, sell the software to grow our, our user base. I started noticing something, right? And the key, and the key lesson of this year for me is leverage. Okay, now listen, I want you to pay attention here. Leverage in a sense is to how can you take one action but multiply it into 10, 15, 20, right? How can you do one thing but then it has a thousand multiple effect, right? And I started thinking to myself, okay, leverage, right? So one, obviously we hired more staff into Ryzen and then hence, you know, leverage staff. And then I started thinking to myself and I was like, what is the one thing that I can leverage right now that we are not doing. When I looked at my calendar, right, we had a full calendar of all the demos and intro calls that we were doing, right? And it was almost as though I had to repeat the same thing over and over and over again, right? And then it became to the point in which I had to now get more staff to help me with the demo calls, right? Because my time was becoming very limited. And I was like, okay, now how do I leverage? What can I leverage, right? And then I was like, webinars, right? Um, webinars in the sense is to, if you don't know what a webinar is, a webinar is basically one presenter to, you know, a hundred, 200, 300, 400, 500 people to a, um, to a presentation. Right. And the reason why I said thinking about a webinar, as far as, um, sales presentation is, I want you guys to understand something. If your closing ratio in whatever sales organization you may be in is 20% and you only do 10 presentations in a day. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go back into my my whiteboard here. You do ten presentations in a day and twenty percent, right? So it's two zero percent, which means only two people will end up buying, right? Now, if only two people buy, okay, and you have to do you do fifty presentations in a week, and then let's say only ten people, right? You end up with ten sales, okay? Ten sales, right? Now, if your average commission is two hundred bucks a sale, you just made two grand. Okay. Two G's. All right. Now that's significant. That's a significantly good amount of money. Right. But what about if you could do a thousand presentations in the same week? You're thinking, okay, a thousand presentations in the same week. Right. And here's the reason why I'm bringing this is a thousand presentations in the same week. As far as now you use a webinar, right? You get the same way you're getting people to, you know, book a call with you is the same way you just send them into the webinar and then you send it in a waiting room and then they all basically just come in and you do your live presentation, right? So now let's say you have, let's not do a thousand, let's kind of keep it simple. And let's say you have a hundred people that now come in the same presentation, but you're doing it to a hundred person people for the same 20% close ratio. Now you're closing 20, 20. Okay. So now you just basically went from sitting on 50 presentations to doing now you're uh, 100 presentations, now you're 20. And then that is how legitimately you just doubled your income to 4Gs. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this is this. is I'm saying this is because majority of people always end the new year and say, I'm going to start the new year. And in 2023, I'm going to make the most amount of money. Okay? They say, I'm going to make the most amount of money in 2023. Right? They set this new goals as far as, I'm going to make the most amount of money. I'm going to work out. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to work out. The craziest one to me is when people go, I'm going to work out or I'm going to, you know, lose this specific amount of weight. And my thing to this is this, is when you say I'm going to work out, 
You're very motivated. You, let me tell you something. The gym is always packed within the first three weeks of the year. The first three weeks of the year, you got people showing in new, new outfits, new everything. They're ready to go. By February, it slows down. March slows down. April slows down. Why is that? The reason being, the reason why it is during the first of the year is one of the best seasons. The first few weeks of the year is the best time and why people work out is because they're motivated. It's a new year. They're going to start afresh. It's 2023. It's 2024. They're ready to go. They're starting afresh. But here's the one thing is motivation is trash. I always say this every time. Motivation is trash. And the reason why I say motivation is trash is because it's not consistent. It's not consistent. You see, here's the thing is I'm going to tell you this is I just showed you how to leverage the Internet to send traffic into a webinar. And through that webinar, you can be able to you know, generate more business. And that's exactly what we're going to implement in our in our uh, in, in Ryzen now to get more users into our CRM. But for you, I don't know what situation that you're in. I don't know what business you're in. I don't even know what situation you're in right now. But the key is this is I know one thing. You need more money in your system, in your pipeline. You need more leads. You need more money in your wallet. Okay. You need to make more money. Legitimately, if somebody tells me it is not about money, the truth and God on honest truth is this. It is not about money. Yes. But initially, you need to survive. And to survive, you need money to do that. After you've survived, the next thing you do is what? You start to thrive. And when it comes to thrive is now you have value that you can provide to others. But first thing first is you need to survive. It is very hard. If you're on an airplane, they say what? Put your mask on first before you go ahead and put your mask, the mask on someone else. And the reason why I'm saying this is this is you need to get your money right. And majority of people watching this video, you do not have your money right. You might be like, I'm a business owner. But the truth is this is the average business does not make any money. It doesn't. You just go ahead and buy a second job. Now, why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because at the end of the day is this is I want to make sure because I, I, I say all this stuff in this channel because I want you. I want to do business with you in a sense. I want you to be able to afford our prices. The reason being is this is I understand we go for we're not even the most expensive out there. OK, but the majority of the thing is this is I usually two out of five calls is. These business owners are like, oh, man, you know, I can't get any leads, man. How are we going to afford this? It, like, for instance, in a restaurant, if you try to go get a restaurant as a business, the average restaurant does not make any money. It's a passion that makes no money. 5% to 10% profitability, okay? 95% operating uh, operating costs. It is, not it, is, it is not a profitable business. And the thing is this is I want to teach you how. You can fix your financial situation, get yourself out of the financial hole that you're in to get yourself in a position in which you can be like, hey, listen, I can afford to pay three, four thousand dollars a year, five, ten thousand dollars a year. OK, because the truth is, this is this is you are missing out on life when you do not have the amount of money that you want. I know I'm kind of going on a rant. This is not even supposed to be. I'm supposed to be talking about software and stuff, but I just got to tell you this is. You don't want to be that person in the first three weeks of the year. You are motivated to go out there and make some money. But then the moment it gets tough, the moment it gets hard, and you do not see results, you quit. You're like, oh, man, I didn't, I didn't double my income in, in the first. Let me tell you this. Your first 12 to 24, probably even 36 months in business, you will make no money. Listen again. Your first probably 36 months in business, you will make no money because you're still learning. You are still learning. It's like, I want you to understand this thing. This is the one thing, and I always, I'm going to say this to business owners. I'm going to say this to business, and I'm going to say it again, is if you were a child, imagine you were a newborn baby. You just birthed a newborn baby, which is your business. You just birthed a newborn baby, okay? How many of you expect that newborn baby straight off the bat to be able to go out there, get a job, just by you within 90 days of the baby being born, get a job, and become what? Start producing sustainable income, sustainable revenue within 90 days of you birthing a baby. Most of you will be like, yeah, that's impossible, dude. That's not going to happen. Okay, then why am I, Why are you starting a new business, not understand that your new business is a baby? Because you do not understand what you're doing yet. You don't. You don't. I talk a lot about marketing. 90% of this channel is about, well, I would say maybe 80% is about marketing and 20% is about motivation. Not really motiva I don't like the word motivation. I don't, I'm not a big motivation fan. I'm a big discipline fan. But 20% is about the mindset. 
It's marketing and mindset and then money. You need to understand that for you to succeed, you have to have discipline. You cannot be that person within the first three weeks and then you quit because you don't see the results. You can't, you can't just quit because you don't see the results. That's stupid. No offense, but that 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 to me is is very short-sighted, short-sighted thinking to go, oh, I don't see the results that I expected. I did I started a brand new business and I am not a millionaire in 90 days. Come on now. Be realistic. Be realistic. You have to understand you will fail so hard and so long before you actually end up seeing an ounce of success. And this is the God's honest truth. If you're an insurance agent, you're like, oh man, I bought, I spent a thousand dollars on leads and I didn't see my money. <laughs> come on, be realistic. Jeez, come on, be realistic. You spent a thousand dollars. You've never sold insurance in your life. You don't even know anything about the product. You just believe you're going to go in the home or you're going to get on a call and then you're going to talk to your manager, whoever it is, and then they're going to supposed to help you close a deal when you know nothing about the industry and you just spent a thousand dollars and you don't expect to lose it. Well, they told me that. Be realistic. Oh, I'm going to start a business. I'm going to start a lawn care business. And within, you know, 90 days, I should have 500 clients. Be realistic. You have to understand something is this. Everything has a learning curve. You have to go through the learning curve. You do not go to college. And within the first four years of your college, you're making no money, no money. And you don't go, well, I should be a millionaire from four years in college. No. Because guess what? You even go out of college and they're like, hey, take yourself back into that college and get another two-year degree. And then you come out and they might give you an extra 20% raise above somebody without a two-year extra degree. That's why that's college for you. Listen, I'm saying this is this. Is to, as you go into 2023, you need to understand one thing. You need to leverage. But you need to be very disciplined in your leverage. Very disciplined. If you say I'm going to do a webinar once a week for the next whole year, even if nobody shows up, I'm still going to do that webinar. That's almost insanity, but you have to do it because you're building the skill. You are not doing it for them. You're doing it for you because you're preparing yourself for when that money comes. Abundance mindset, my friend. Abundance mindset. And be prepared to fail to win. Be prepared to lose to win. And I'm saying this because I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're going into 2023 and you're going into 2023 thinking, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire, you know what? Just go to another video. But if you're going to 2023 and you're saying, I will be the most disciplined individual, I will follow, I will get more skills, and I will leverage resources, time, and technology to meet my needs, then you are in the right channel. And subscribe and like this video. Okay, because you have to understand something, guys. I'm creating content for the most part as far as like if I can make you a bet, if I can make one person a better business owner, one person cross the seven figure mark, my job is done. Well, not really, but close. So listen. As you go into 2023, write this down. I am willing to tolerate what is the most you can take. Write it down. I'm willing to tolerate blah, 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 blah. I'm willing to deal with blah, 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 blah. I'm willing to embrace blah, 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 blah. I'm willing to sacrifice blah, 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 blah. Believe in yourself so much that people think you are insane. Believe in yourself. Because at the end, no one else is going to believe in you. No one cares about you. I've always said this millions of times. You're the only person that has to care about yourself. There's only one you. I mean, unless you're a twin, if you look around you, there's only what? One person looks like you, and that's you. So, which means it is your personal responsibility, your personal prerogative to take care of yourself, which means it is your personal prerogative to prioritize improvement. And I don't know why I decided this video was something I should make today. I, I have no reason why. I don't even know why. Maybe maybe because it's Christmas Day and I know most people are being lazy right now, sitting and eating and, and, and you know, enjoying and stuff, but then not realizing that the work that lies ahead is a brutal work. The labor that is to come, it is not an easy one. So enjoy now because as 2023 comes, you have to be ready. You have to be ready to go out there and become a better version, a better business owner. Because before you became a business owner, you were just a person with an idea. Now, the reality is this is, are you going to make that idea a come to fruition? Or is it just going to be another idea that's going to be buried in the graveyard? Listen, 
How you make more money in 2023 is very simple. You leverage, you stay disciplined, and you make sure you rack up skills because skills is currency. The more skills you have, the more you can trade, right? If you are a videographer, you know how to do video editing, right? And your video editing is so good and you have good reviews on it, you can trade that skill. If you're a copywriter and you're so good at writing copies, you can trade that skill. If you are a Facebook ads expert, you can trade that skill. If you're a Google ads expert, you can trade that skill. Skills is currency. That's it. That's all you need to know. Get some more skills. Just leverage and stay disciplined. And for that, I say, happy new year. Happy 2023. Let's go crush it.